So, just ten minutes ago, I spent some time making this. And in case you're wondering what that was, I had to starve myself today. And then drink that, because the flush out of my system, because tomorrow morning I will be having a colonoscopy. Joy, joy, joy. But it's a good thing. I'm gonna find out what is going on in the gut and the intestines. And it's been like two years wanting to find out and finally get the opportunity to do so. So my week is starting right now. Hello there, handsome. Hello. Can you see me? Really? I can see you. Okay, good. Yes. It's 6.30 in the morning, about. And 6.27. Rounded off at 6.30. And we are headed off to the doctor's to get this colonoscopy done. And then I can eat food. So I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. All right, let's go. Okay, at 7.12, Brian went into having died to call Let's see how long it takes. Ryan is still. Mm -hmm. He's still waking up. <laughs> we were trying to say it was just said minutes ago and I didn't press the red button. <laughs> Silly me. But anyway, yeah. the good news is that you see the we know the, the whitish part, you know, it's practically good. Now you yeah. see on the Rest left good, which is really two cool parts there that's the that's part that white. is, I mean, look that is very that narrow is. and they did some biopsy right biopsy yeah did some biopsy uh, mm, biopsy yes and mm -hmm. to figure out but yes i mean the that's... good news i mean it's working this is funny the nurse came and offered ryan a, if he had already something to drink he said no just like a little child and then she offered a range of juices and he chose apple juice and then um, different type of crackers and he said cheese crackers <laughs> it was so good to hear him when he was still you know slurring and trying to I'm hungry <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm like now I'm like 80 to 90 percent. Okay. That anesthesia will knock you out. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we're getting ready to go home. Okay, so ready to go in a rainy day. Yeah, it's raining down there. CP's down there. It's a low. Of course, don't do that. I'm gonna lose your balance. Oh, I got good balance. Okay. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, of course. Sure. Okay. See you later. So. Right away, I want to tell you, yes, survived the colonoscopy. Yay! And the initial thing, when because I was knocked out, so when I woke up, uh, the doctor gave me this paper. Noticed right away that he, one of the things he told me was that my colon, at least going halfway, looked perfectly normal and healthy. And I'm just like, wait, what? And it took me a while to register what that meant. And it's true, you see the photos popping up here now. You see a perfectly normal, uh, healthy colon. Mucosal lining white like it should be, at least it's, it's building, you know, to that level uh, of mucosa. And as you can see in some of the other photos that I still have a really narrow area that's so small in my intestine that even the camera that my doctor would, you know, was put in my colon couldn't even get through it. The bad news is we still have longer to go. We still need to get rid of the scar, the area that's filled with so much scar tissue 
but the good news is it, e it looks like the scar tissue in itself is kind of degenerating and, and starting to come out uh, from the holistic meds that I'm taking, which is kind of funny medically. Uh, there's no medications that can get rid of scar tissue in intestines. Medications, quote unquote medical medications. And I would agree with that because uh, the, holistic, the holistic medicine I take is not medical medicine. But it does get rid of scar tissue. It just takes some time. It's probably going to be one or two years, so I'm going to have to still journal through all this time. But the most important thing is that I can see a light at the end of the tunnel now. I can see that my intestines are healing. This is absolute proof and evidence that Dr. Snow's protocols does work. Uh, I'm not somebody special. As a matter of fact, I probably would be the last candidate for this type of experiment just because I've had Crohn's for so long that uh, who knows if it would have healed me or not. So this was a big test. It's not like I was somebody who I had was diagnosed with Crohn's disease, you know, for um, like a few months and I saw Dr. Snow. No. I've had Crohn's disease for almost 20 years. I've suffered from it. I've tried so many things. I've, I've tried medications. I've tried diet. I've tried no weed. I've tried no fiber. I've tried all fiber. I've tried all these diets. That is not what rebuilds the intestine. This is not a disease. No matter what anybody tells you, this is not a disease. And I've proved that. Because if this was a disease, if this was an auto, autoimmune uh, type of disorder, the body attacking yourself, the medicines that I took should not have rebuilt my mucosal lining as it does. This is a degenerative condition, Crohn's, colitis, whatever you call it. This is a degenerative con condition that can be rebuilt if you take the right things. And I know I'm being very passionate right now, um, but uh, I am just, it's just amazing. I've, I've, I know there's been a lot of people, I mean, even when I was originally diagnosed, there have been so many people praying for me. And so it, it's, it's just, it's, it's amazing. I, I'm getting my life back. I mean, for 20 years, I've suffered through all of this. Um, I don't want to be the only person that has this type of joy, that exper experiencing this type of joy, because there are millions of people out there who are worse than I am, and if this can be the way for them, and 95% of the time it can help people. Um, even people who are past, who've had surgery, who are, you know, have had surgery. I mean, this method can still help you. It can heal the stuff, you know, it can rebuild what you have left. And maybe you can get off some med medications. Maybe, maybe, you know, you can, you can have a better diet. You can function better. And not to deal with the pain anymore. I'm not saying right away. Um, I mean, usually for Dr. Snow's is a six-month program. For me, it's probably going to be a four- to six-year program. But it's worth it. doesn't matter what money, I mean, what, what is the rest of your life worth for you? If you've got to take six months to six years to rebuild what's been broken down, what is that worth to you? How much would you be willing to pay for living well the rest of your life? It's priceless. I mean, I've invested, and in, in, in me and my wife have paid everything for this, and guess what? It's paid off, and it'll continue to pay off. It's just incredible, and for the past four to six weeks, I've been feeling really good. You know, consistent bowel movement, solid, you know, hardly any bleeding, and just seeing just the result that, that my colon is doing, it, it's just incredible. So what, what we plan to do... Now, I still have to sit down with, my, with Dr. Shire, my medical doctor, and, you know, go through all the planning stages with him. And we did do biopsies of the, um, 
of that scar tissue area because there were a lot of uh, pseudo polyps in that scar tissue so we just want to make sure there's nothing cancerous because if there is cancer in there I'm probably going to have to get it just surgically removed as soon as possible but I'm willing to bet there's probably no cancer at least nothing that's going to hurt me I'm, I'm doing fairly well I'm feeling very well and I think from what I know, Dr. Shire is pretty confident in what I'm doing now. As a matter of fact, I think he was a little surprised that my uh, the, the colon, the part of my colon that he did see, looked so well. It ain't over yet. We still got to take care of this scar tissue. So I mean, I'm not going to be jumping off bridges or doing anything too hard or physical yet because I don't want to aggravate anything. But it's just. I, you know, you can see it LA at the end of the tunnel and it just makes you so much more confident. I mean, I'm ready just to bust through this thing and it, within, you know, one to two years get another colonoscopy, see how much that part of the intestine has widened and eventually just have a normal colon. So it's great and I can't wait for others like me, for their family members or for themselves who have it, um, for their own children who have it, uh, that they can go on with uh, normal, healthy lives. It's just, it's, it's amazing. It, it, ugh, I'm just, I'm so thrilled with it. So, anyway, it's been a thrilling week, and um, I just can't wait till see what the future holds. So, that's as, that's, that is this week, as far as this week goes, a pretty, pretty happy, pretty encouraging week, and I'll see all of you next week.